Hey guys, it's Jen LaForge here. I'm so glad that you're here. So, Star Wars Half Marathon is uh, in like, I'm leaving in like three weeks and I can't even believe it and I'm so excited I can't stand it. So, I wanna do a packing video and I may or may not get to that um, maybe two weeks out before the race. But today, what I wanna do is what I <laughs> went through my closet and I grabbed a bag and I just threw everything in it that I knew I was gonna need. I kinda do that anyway to get started to pack to make sure there's nothing that um, I need to purchase. So, um, it's kinda warm here today. Is it warm where you are? All of a sudden in Atlanta, it's warm. And I love it because it's been so freezing cold. Okay, so. Um, I grabbed a bag and I'm just going to go through all the items. I didn't count. I don't know if it's 10 items or 15 items or whatever. They are just the things that I know that I have to have uh, to get ready to go run Disney in a couple weeks. So let's get started. Okay. First thing I'm pulling out. Are you ready? Color catchers. Here's why. Um, if you have, if you don't have access to a washer and dryer where you're staying, don't worry about this. I do. And um, I'm going to want to wash all my running clothes in one load because you don't really want to have to do uh, multiple loads on vacation. That's no fun. So uh, color catchers. Obviously, I'm not going to take the whole box. I'm just going to take a couple of these. They're really small. They won't take up much space at all. So that's going to be item number one. It'll be funny when we get to the end to see how many items I threw in here. Okay. Color catchers. Running Disney. Essential. Okay. The next item that I have in here is a throwaway jacket. Um, this is an old jacket um, of my husband's that he doesn't wear anymore, um, and it's really warm. Now, I know it's April, and um, it's probably going to be warm enough that I won't need this, but it might be chilly in the morning. I hate being cold waiting in the corrals. So a throwaway jacket is a must. Just know that Run Disney picks all of those jackets up, and they donate them to charity, so you don't have to worry about um, that you're just throwing something away for good. Um, but this is definitely going to go in with my stuff, so I have something cozy, and it's still kind smells like my husband Aww. even though he's not going on the trip love you honey okay so that's in there okay this i threw in there anti-diarrheal i have a very um or the brand name would be emodium this is the costco brand i have a very nervous stomach um and it especially flares up if there's humidity i will take one of these um the night before the race and i'm going to take one in the morning Medically, it's probably a terrible idea, but it keeps me from getting runner's stomach. And especially if the humidity is bad, it's, it can ruin your race. So I'm going to pack the Imodium. If you don't end up needing it, then someone you're with might, and they'll be happy that it's there. Okay. Um, earplugs. You're going to be going to bed uncharacteristically early, like super, super early. And you don't know what may be going on at the resort. Um, if you're staying someplace near fireworks or whatever, there may still be a lot of noise. Um, so I definitely recommend a pair of earplugs. Never a bad idea. If you don't need them, then big deal. They only take up that much space. So you'll be glad that you have them. Okay. Next item. Uh, body wipe. This is a, an athletic body wipe. Uh, it is a big size. Um, this I strongly recommend if you're going to change into clothes after the race and go straight to the parks. I have done this. Um, Sarah and I did it once for the full marathon, if you can believe it or not. Now, it wasn't very hot that year, um, but we basically took a shower with these things. Um, take two, put them in your drop bag. You may not need them, but if, if you have a change of clothes, I, I would do this. If you have any intention of either um, some of us do go straight to brunch after or you go straight into a park, please do your friends and neighbors uh, a favor. Take this, use this, and then you won't stink up the place. Always good to not stink up the place. It is Disney after all. Okay, what else is in here? Sunscreen. Um, you are going to want this the morning of the race. They now carry lots of them that are this size, so it's carry-on compliant. I never check a bag when I run Disney, um, but this is carry-on size. Um, put it on. Make sure those around you put it on. It's a little bit tricky, right? Because it's pitch black when you start to run, so you figure, I don't need sunscreen. Well, I don't need sunscreen. It's pitch black. That sun is going to come back up, and it's going to be serious. So you want to have some sunscreen on. It's going to take a lot of fun out of the rest of your trip if you are sunburned. So take sunscreen. Um, next item, regular wet wipes. These, um, I don't take the, again, don't take the whole box. Um, I'm going to put these in one of the pockets of my skirt. Um, and oops, let me turn it around so you can see it. Um, I'm just going to say two words, porta potties. Uh, you can't see. Uh, what I do is I take it and I quickly wipe down the area and, and throw it in the disgusting porta potty because it's usually dark when you're using the porta potties, which is probably for the best that it's dark because you do not want to see what's in there. But this makes me feel better. I don't know if it does anything. Um, but also at Disney, sometimes you just can't get to a bathroom to wash your hands um, before a meal or whatever. So I like these better than hands 
hand sanitizer. It just makes me feel a little bit more fresh and clean. Super easy to pick up at Target or even at your grocery store, so throw some of those in your bag. Okay, next item is for the old ladies. Me, me. Um, when I'm in the parks, I don't want to take my glasses. They take up space and um, I really only need them to read menus. Um, so I bring this little teeny, I don't even know where I got this, wallet magnifier. I think I got it um, at Christmas time, like at the drugstore, but I'm sure you can find them on, on Amazon. This, look how tiny it is, y'all. So you can hold it up so you can read the menu. Definitely recommend that. I know there's also a magnifying glass option. Um, on the iPhone, uh, I haven't, Mike Rollman from um, WDW Today talks about it, but I need to find that. But I love this little pocket magnifier, so that's going to go with me for sure. Okay, next up, again, these are hand warmers. Um, it may, this may com be completely unnecessary depending on the weather. And if the forecast is showing that the high is going to be like in the 80s, I'm not even going to bring these. But I know during marathon weekend, these were a life saver because I tucked them inside my glove and my hands were warm. I hate it when my hands are cold. So whether you need it for the whole race or just while you're waiting around the crowds, always, I always pack hand warmers. Love those. Okay, next item in here. <gasps> oh my gosh, fuel rod. Do you know about the fuel rod? These are $30. You can buy them inside the park. Here's what it is. It's a whole charge of your cell phone. When you've used it, you go to one of the kiosks and they're all over. Like, I mean, they're everywhere in the parks. There's one in Tomorrowland. There was, there's more than one in Animal Kingdom. You put this in the machine after you paid the $30, put this in the machine and it spits out a new one. And you can do that over and over and over again. So you never have to worry about not having a full charge for your phone. And bonus, you never have to charge this. You just turn it in and get a new one. And um, the fuel rods not, aren't only at Walt Disney World. I've also seen them in other big cities. Um, and most airports have a fuel rod kiosk as well. So $30 initial investment. I actually bought this one, well, first one, the, well, however many babies ago this one was um, for only 20, but now they're 30 and it comes with your charging thing and all of that. Um, so all you need to have though is the charger for your actual phone because you'll be able to, you know, the, you don't need the charger, you need the cord. So you can actually plug it into your phone, plug it into this, full charge, good to go. When it runs out, replace it, get a new one. Love this. Okay, next item. Whatever you use for, um, like whether that's emergency or whatever to replace your electrolytes, I use Noon. I love Noon. I just started using the energy version of this. I didn't use one today. This is just me naturally. Uh, but the Noon tablets I definitely want to take not only for the immune system boost, but also so that I can use these before, during, and after the race uh, definitely helps me with rehydrating after the race, not just the day of, but also a couple days after. Um, so definitely strawberry lemonade is my favorite. It's just, yeah, this is strawberry lemonade. Um, you can get these online. Um, you can also order them on Amazon and most major running stores have them. So I love my new. Okay, next up is, uh, oh, of course, your magic bands. Um, I have these now in like 15 different colors, uh, but don't forget your magic bands. Cause if you forget them, they're going to give you gray and I don't know who would want a gray magic band. Well, one of my kids, he'll get gray on purpose, but I like the bright colors. Um, I never decline magic bands for new trips because I like to have colors to match my outfits. Um, so definitely you want to pack your magic bands if you're staying on property. Disney will send you those a couple weeks before your trip. In fact, I don't know where ours are. They should be here any minute. Okay. A poncho or a rain jacket. Uh, a poncho is a necessity when you are traveling to Orlando. It rains all the time. It will rain if it's forecast to rain. It will rain if it's not forecasted to rain. It doesn't rain every day. So if you go to plan your trip and there's like a little lightning and thunder thing every day of your trip, that does not mean your trip is a washout. It is rare that a day goes by that it doesn't rain some in Orlando, Florida. That's why it's so pretty. So this is my Nike, I think it's called like Storm Fit jacket. It's super, super, super lightweight. And I prefer this to a poncho. Um, even though it doesn't have a hood, I just like that it um, it doesn't like stick to me like a poncho does. And look at, look at this, look at how you can ball this thing up and it doesn't take up hardly any space at all. So this will be going in my bag for sure. Okay, 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 what's next? Body Glide. You need, is this one even called Body Glide? No, this is gear safe. I don't even know who makes this. A bunch of different people make it. It's all the same thing. It looks like this. Looks like a deodorant stick. It's to keep you from chafing. 
You need it not only if you're a runner, but you also need it just if you're touring the parks in Florida because you can chafe just from walking around because the humidity is so high. So anywhere, um, ladies, a uh, couple of the places, obviously your thighs, also where your bra line hits, I'm right at your sternum, you wanna use it there, anywhere you think might chafe. Um, a lot of us do it here if you have little bat wings developing. I should make this channel for middle-aged women. Anyway, um, guys, you wanna use this, obviously, because you don't wanna have bleeding nipples. That's just, oh my God, that just hurts to even think about. Anyway, there was a guy at the marathon when I was cheering and I was at like mile, or was I mile 23? And it was just, oh, it was so painful to watch. Anyway, you wanna make sure you have some of this. Um, they also carry a travel size. Um, my little pink travel size is actually the one that I will take. They make it for women, but it's exactly the same. So whatever product you decide to get, you wanna get this. Okay, what else do I have in here? Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, so um, this, oh wait, hold on. I had thrown these over there. Your sunglasses. Again, when you start the race, it's going to be dark, so you're not gonna remember that you need your sunglasses, but once that sun comes up, it is going to be strong, and you're gonna want your sunglasses. So these are mine. My husband gave them to me for Christmas. Let me show you, I don't know if y'all can see. There's like a hair on me. Um, these are bifocal lenses. So I put them on and I can see my phone even when I have my running sunglasses on. Is that the sweetest thing ever? Okay, love that. Okay, this is a lightweight drawstring bag. This one I bought at Disney World, it was not very expensive at all. Here's why this is a great thing to have. Um, when you go to the expo, they're gonna give you this like white plastic thing that doubles as your drop bag. It's super uncomfortable to wear. It's like bulky and it hangs across your body weird. I hate it. Um, so you can actually take something like this, and again, this folds up really bad, small. You could put this in your regular handbag and take it with you. Then you can put anything you purchase from the expo can go in here, your drop bag can go in here, um, your shirt, your bib, all of that. Um, and then when you, and then put this in your drop bag, after the race, you can pull this back out, and this is a great holder for, is that upside down? Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. Um, this is a great holder for all of your snacks and everything. I, I never eat it all right then, so it's kind of awkward because you're holding all these different things. This gives you something great. You can put everything in and comfortably get back to your hotel. Keep in mind, when you're done racing, it isn't like you're done racing and then poof, you're back at your hotel. You've got a solid, Guys, comment if you have a better estimate for me. I'm gonna say you've got a solid hour, if not an hour and a half, by the time you get out of the chute, you get your picture taken, you walk over to where the buses are, you get on a bus, and you get back to your resort. So it's it's a while. So make sure that you have something comfortable because the last thing you want is to be having something hanging on your back that's not comfortable after you've just run a half marathon. Okay, and then lastly, I brought over, you have to think about what you're gonna wear like when you get there and everything. If you run other Run Disney races, it's kind of an unwritten rule that you're gonna wear your Run Disney uh, shirts. Um, I just like literally went into my drawer and pulled a bunch of them out. I've got my Wine and Dine shirt. I've got, oh, this is like vintage. I've got my Dumbo Double Dare from Disneyland. Boo hoo, there's no more Disneyland. 2013 Princess, five years of running. Um, then this is one of my Star Wars shirts. Um, I've got, this is another, oh God, was this last year's? Doesn't say, oh, inaugural, 2016. Woohoo! this one's really cute, 60, 70. Oh, so this is the third year we've done it. Okay, that's super fun. Anyway, um, this is the jacket that I got last year. Is that last year? Which this is kind of funny, yeah, 2017. I didn't know that I ordered this and they said that I had a special gift or whatever and I was like, did I pay for that? But you know how you sign up so far in advance and you end up getting fun things? I'm kind of hoping it's cool enough that I can wear this. Um, look how fun it is. It's got that on the front and this isn't like something I wear to, you know, to Costco on a regular day. So this would be really fun if I could wear that. So definitely bring your Disney stuff. Um, this is a long sleeve marathon shirt so that would be beautiful, wouldn't it, if we actually got to wear that? 
So, all your other packing needs are going to be the same as any other Disney vacation that you take. These items are just the things that I know that I have to have if I'm going to go and run Disney. Again, all of this is going in a carry-on bag. Um, I, if, I really would like to do a packing video that's just for Run Disney. So, if, you've, if you have other things that you have to have when you run Disney, please comment below. I'm so excited for this trip. Oh my gosh! And um, questions that you have, even if it's about your training or whatever, let me know. Um, and I hope you're having a fantastic day that you're feeling happy and blessed that you've got happy running and then it's a good disney day for you and i'll catch you next time oh please like and subscribe i'm terrible about asking for that see you soon